and welcome to our project Dr. Buddy. I'm Gaurav, I'm front-end developer from team Innova Squad. So this is a affordable health tech automation solution by us and this is actually very affordable solution which a hospital can easily uh, get from us. So let's uh, discuss about this project. But before discussing, I want to tell you that uh, this project is made only using uh, HTML5, uh, HTML5, CSS, uh, like in CSS, yes, CSS is used actually. And uh, after that, JavaScript also used. Uh, and uh, in backend portion, we have just used Google Sheet and app script to make the whole backend system so there is no such type of thing like mongodb and this type of things uh, we have made this solution uh, very affordable and using the existing things now and also gsap and this type of things also used to uh, make the animations you can see here so this is actually the look of our website and our website is actually the product now, what is the feature of this website if a hospital uh, get from us? Now, the first thing uh, or the first uh, question is that uh, like uh, the problem is that uh, we have to stand in a line for a booking appointment for uh, like two to three hours or sometimes more than this. This is actually the worst wastage of time. So, to deal with this, uh, here is a feature called book appointment and this if, if you click on this you can see just simple process okay a patient from his home can directly book his appointment so there can be uh, different options uh, with the uh, instead of this name and phone okay we can add more options also just we have to make some changes in our app script now how a patient will book his appointment let's see at first here is uh, like my name and this is phone number and you can choose any doctor okay like the existing doctors in our seat uh, or our, uh, in our hospital is let's say testing okay testing is a doctor now for testing doctor you want to uh, submit an appointment or book an appointment for treatment for getting treat, uh, treated by testing doctor now if you submit here we have to just wait for some uh, seconds here your uh, appointment id will be automatically generated and you will get it okay here you can see Whenever uh, this is actually submitted through the backend in Google Sheet, our uh, actually I have cleaned multiple times in the submit button, so that that is the problem that uh, multiple appointments are. Booked. So now uh, here you can see your uh, ID and your number like serial number eight. Okay, we we get some serial numbers whenever uh, we book some appointment. So this is your serial number and this is your uh, like id okay now you have to just copy this id later we can also add a print option that is not a matter the functionality is actually our feature now let's say he want to see his uh, application status now here he will click on application status and just paste the id and his name this is my name and under which doctor testing was our sorry testing and so status let's see yeah you can see the data this is and this is uh, appointed appointment date or this is submission date we can also add appointment date here okay this is just for the functionality uh, now this is submitted on uh, this is the time you can see here in our in my laptop exact time and patient id also will be faced and phone number and checked or not no okay 
this id patient is not actually chip uh, so let's back from here now here is the uh, another option okay track your turn this is a very crucial option for avoiding unnecessary gatherings in uh, hospitals and uh, like nursing homes this type of places this is a big problem that we have to uh, sit on a chair or uh, sometimes we have to stand there for uh, uh, for the appointment okay we go uh, in morning and the time uh, passes and it will be a hustle of like 6 to 7 hours so to avoid this here is track your turn option patient know his id just go here let's say today is the date of appointment like date of the when doctor is checking just track your turn just paste here the uh, your id like a patient's id and just click on track let's see testing means the doctor name was testing testing is now viewing patient number two okay why patient number two i will show you your turn is after six patient okay actually in that seat we have tested before and we have entered like six patients so uh, like multiple patients and that that is why it is showing your turn is after six patients okay uh, so that's how you will check there is a doctor login option i will show in this video whenever doctor will update or uh, click on that like update his uh, some patient's status of checked or not checked then here it will be minus and like it will become five patients uh, away okay your turn is after five patients i will show you this is the id let's keep it aside saved and later i will uh, we will check after after the doctor login process okay now this is the end to end website for both doctor and patient let's say you are a doctor uh, like i am a doctor and every day my work is to um, uh, check the patients check the diseases so just i have to uh, get, like get my laptop and i have to click here doctor login or doctor sign up okay so actually if there is a new doctor okay a new seat will be automatically added corresponding to that doctor and the seat will contain all the patient's data who will book an appointment uh, for that doctor so now let's say i am doctor this is my name and let's say password is 1 2 3 4 and the email is let's say this is the email and phone number is this let's sign up just a second okay so actually here the uh, doctor uh, data will be like doctor's id will be fetched and using the, this id the doctor can log in to his uh, to his seat okay but in that way uh, doctor can new doctor can make his seat but for now i will show using the id of testing doctor okay because we have used the book appointment previously so i will show you the login process through the testing doctor okay rather if a new doctor join the hospital he can also sign up and make his own seat okay just a second let me check the id and after that okay so when the doctor will uh, like click on sign in then here a id will be asked so we have to just paste the id of that corresponding doctor and after that the password just copy from here and uh, let's okay control v and sign in now you can see just a second you can see the data okay this is the data which i have inputted uh, sometimes ago now if, if the doctor will click on next 
so it will be updated now you can see it it is yes okay it is yes actually and now if i click further then you uh, you can see this will become yes okay the third data so this is actually the checking system you can see the third data is uh, yes now if you check using the uh, login id uh, of the patient from our website let's say the patient is checking if he is checked or not <coughs> now track application he will click on track application and he can just enter his uh, enter his id and a name and uh, doctor was like testing and show status you can see he is actually checked okay yeah here you can see this is yes but previously if we uh, input the id then it would it should show no okay so this is the actually the feature and in track your turn if we further uh, check with the id of the patient let's check it control v and track okay here also uh, i think there is actually a internet issue it can be but here also the data will be faced that you you have already passed or your turn is passed okay okay so that is our system uh, there can be some faulties we are working on this but this is actually the innovative solution we are solving the problem of gathering and also digitizing the system of whole doctor and both side of patient okay so actually that is the solution our and you can also explore to actually you can uh, explore this uh, link here in repository you can see uh, this is our link so to know more you can explore this thank you